Hi friends, it's color print and a random quilt block. Cute, right? Um, missed my glasses, they are right in front of you. So, what are we on? I don't even know what day it is, 12, 12. Here is yesterday, 11. Look at that, how it dried, so cool. I suspect in the writing, it's just going to be like, hi, I'm gray, you know, but whatever, paint with it if you're so inclined. I mean, I wish I was because it's cool, but, you know, here we are. My partner and I were watching a show. And he had to think about things with his eyes closed, it turned out. So I suggested that maybe we stop watching the show for a minute. Um, and now instead he's playing games. So it's pretty great. Yeah. What did he say? Day 12. Here is the calendar. Oh, and here's 12. Oh, nope. Sunbeam. Sunbeam captures the warmth and vibrancy of the moment when the sun's light hits the earth. I bet this is going to be a beautiful color that I don't love. And that's fine. Not every color is going to be my favorite. Nor should they all be. But let's get into it. How do we even do this? Just a standard ink, no shimmer. It looks like it'll probably be legible. I did that wrong. Little sticks. This does not look like sun. <laughs> I won't say what it makes me think of because it's gross. Split pea soup, actually. So last night, um, I was woken up hearing two monsters fighting in the yard. And I had taken in Ambien because I've been having sleep problems and I was therefore when I woke up a little confused about all the noises. Um, you may have guessed that there were not actually monsters. Our best guess is raccoons, but it was terrifying. It was so loud. And before I managed to get back to sleep, I decided I need to demonstrate the sound that they made. Um, which was like, why? Obviously woke my partner up too. But it was like, it was crazy. And not just because of the, the sleeping stuff. Um, It, yeah, I don't know, but it was, it's very like when you're woken up by that kind of sound, very disorienting and confusing because in that moment, monsters are real. So this is kind of like 
like a sickly son, <laughs> as far as I can tell. <laughs> Anyone else getting that? Oh, I didn't write this. Let's see. 2024, day 12. Um... Someone making it and a disappointed noise in there. So this is so sickly. This is gonna be some y'alls. The y'all, you know who I bet would like this is Amanda. She likes um these kind of murky weird colors weird maria sounds judgmental unusual is what i mean at least she said so i don't know this might be too yellow and not enough green but it is a funky funky one this is just not sunbeam to me this is too something to be sunbeam too green and it's not I mean, in this writing, maybe I can see that. Maybe here. I don't know. I don't love the way this week is looking, to be honest. I didn't love it before this either. Before. This one is like, no. Compared to this week, ugh, gorgeous. gorgeous is this dry already no it's still a little wet right there I did like pat this dry so I could do the, the month page I'm just gonna do this one anyway so I don't have to keep this out I got added to like a group a big group text thing and I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I feel a little bit like Charles Boyle. <laughs> well, no, I'm worried. I don't wanna be a Charles Boyle. I don't know that the expectations of this, you know. If you don't know, it's a character from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I think he's delightful. He also likes food. So there we are, day 12. I hope, I'm hoping for purple tomorrow for the 13th for Amanda. This somehow looks like it says Klonoa occasionally, which was an interesting game on the Sega Dreamcast. Was it the Sega Dreamcast? Well, who knows? So this is almost totally dry and it's still not giving sunbeam, you know? It's still giving something else. Mustard, that's what it's giving. Yeah, yeah, mustard. Well, if the sun was made of mustard, that's what today's color is. <laughs> I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.